Hello everyone, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo, this is Christopher Draves, and Yo. this is Matt Weiss. Yeah! Um, so we don't have hockey sticks to go... Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I know, I'm going to make that a little gif later. <laughs> it's it, We have some fun on our show. Just, but, us, just us three baboons what's being morons. What's not fun is... <laughs> what's, uh, what's not fun is uh, the uh, Milwaukee Strong Initiative. Yeah. Well, um, fun in principle because we're all banded together as a community. It's making yeah, us stronger. It make us stronger. Because yes. of a bad uh, incident that occurred. But yeah, uh, brought what a terrible event that uh, hap- uh, transpired over the week of uh, people losing their lives that nobody deserves to lose their lives in a way of uh, by shooting in any way or death in any way. Just because somebody gets fired. Yeah. Or, but um. No, we as a community are strong. We all band together in the worst of times, and that's how it should be. And we're all strong as an we're we're all Miller strong. Yep, we are. And Milwaukee strong, for yep. that matter. Because Miller is just as old as Milwaukee. Yep. And that's the thing. And speaking of being community strong, yeah, let's give a goodwill shout out to our friends at WASA, the Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a goodwill initiative by giving them a shout out, as they are one of our one of good friends. A lot of them are season ticket holders to the Admirals, yeah. and uh, they give back to the thing that we we cover every time, and they come to us offering us to do little bits here and there for them. So yeah, we'll uh, have to do like a what is it, a sled hockey ex- expose? Have them on the show and ask them what they think about the sport itself. Yeah, but uh, Wasa does a variety of other sports that isn't just uh, secluded to hockey. Uh, they also have uh, wheelchair basketball. That's through the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, they have wheelchair lacrosse through Marquette Lacrosse, and they have wheelchair tennis, wheelchair bowling, um, wheelchair. Uh, what is it? Rugby? No, quad, quad rugby. rugby. Quad rugby. And uh, uh, goalball. Yep. And these are all funded through grants and donations. And we want to give them a, a brief mention as uh, they've got a variety of ways to donate right through their uh, website at wasa.org. They also have an Amazon Smile account, which means uh, you can select them as your uh, preferred nonprofit, and any portion of any uh, purchase you make on Amazon, a a little proceed will go towards WASA, or they have their Oscar Mike t-shirts. Oscar Mike is a uh, veteran-based organization to help veterans get back into sports and to be competitive. Uh, wounded veterans more in particularly mm-hmm. and uh, they do a lot of goodwill uh, I've had my interactions with them as well at least through the racetrack I that uh, we sponsor a race car <laughs> at <laughs> as I'm wearing their merch right now <laughs> but yeah uh, this isn't just for veterans this is for kids and adults alike uh, these are uh, all disabled individuals that are given the opportunity to play a great game of sport and to socialize with others yeah it also helps with their uh, 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 PTSD, they found out physical activity can actually help with PTSD. And yeah. uh, where is this website you can reach? Uh, yeah, it's uh, once again, it's uh, WASA.org. And even if you can't donate, just get the word out about this group. They've got a great Facebook group. It shows a lot of their activities. Share, share at least one of our videos that has the WASA uh, donation button on it. Yes. And that's how you can help us and them get the word out. Yeah. yeah. So you can do two at once. Mm-hmm. All right, so, next up on the list. Uh, let's talk about our our, our beneficial sponsor, our yeah. uh, providing sponsor. A premier sponsor. Premier sponsor at Hockey Locker. Yep, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, Milwaukee's number one stop shop for all your hockey needs. Right over there across the street from Wilson Park. You yeah. can also call their store. Yeah, you can give them a nice call at 414-800-7585. And where can you uh, go online for them, Chris? Oh, uh, yeah, you can go visit HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. No, uh, Chris, you have something on your head that you can buy there, right? Yes, if you go to the store, you can pick up this lovely Nashville Predator hat. I have something that you could have bought there maybe a couple of years ago, but you can't. Before Adidas. Before <laughs> Adidas, but now you can buy the Adidas Nashville Predators. However, and the... However, that jersey might be in their room full of uh, old jerseys. Oh, well, that's true. They got their throwback could be. jerseys. I'm not and uh, they anything. have everything from skates to helmets and everything in between. Not limited to inline and figure skates as well. And referee gear. And they also do skate sharpenings, and uh, you can get jersey customizations. Word of notice on the on the, the officials does not guarantee good officiating. 
as we witnessed tonight with Colorado versus Nashville. Yeah. Oh, ah, yeah. but head on over to Hockey Locker. Tell yeah. them we sent you. Yeah, same from Milwaukee to Nashville sent. Yeah. All right, next on the hit list. On the hit list. I don't think hit list is the word we should be using. Well, right oddly uh, enough, yeah, sorry, oddly buddy. enough, we uh, we uh, as a, was it the Predators were battling the was it the Colorado Avalanche in Bridgestone. We were bat was it the Admirals were battling the Colorado Eagles in the Budweiser Event Center. Yes. Yes, and uh, we were worried about this game. <laughs> Well, Not I, Kimo Sabi. I was a little worried. Not I, Kimo Sabi. I knew they were angry. <laughs> they came out angry. Look know. at that first period. Yeah. Oof. Three goals in the first period. <laughs> All right, hey. Dio. One thing that sticks out to me is how bad Colorado's power play is. Ouch. One for seven. seven. Ouch. Milwaukee going one for, uh, oh oh for, three. for three. It's typical. But that's going 0 for 3 without having Daniel Carr in the lineup. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was out? Oh, he's, yeah, still he's still out. still out with upper body. Yeah, that's what we're hearing. Um, shots, Colorado outshot us by almost 10. Yeah. More power to who was in net tonight? Ingram. Ingram, yeah. Welcome back. Can I read the first? Can I? Go ahead. Go in a different order. All right. Leading off scoring in the first period was uh, Lucas Craigs. He uh, got his third of the year with an assist from uh, Zach Magla, his first. Then Ellie Tolvanen gets his 18th of the year with an assist from Jeremy Davies, his 22nd, and Matt Donovan, his 22nd. And then Yakov Trenin gets his 20th of the year with an assist from uh, Tommy Novak, his 27th, and Cole Schneider, his 27th. And then Griffin Molino gets his first for the Colorado Eagles with an assist from Dan Renoff. Renoff, his 11th, and Jason Magna. Magna his Who 16th. was also hurt in the game. Really? Yes. That ain't good to hear. Mm. A little stick taps to a speedy recovery. All right. All right. Take it away, whoever. Um, in the second, it was uh, started off by the Colorado Eagles at uh, the 57-second 50, mark by Jason McDonald with his 15th on the power play, with an assist by TJ Tynan, his 38th, and Connor Timmons, his 21st. But uh, not when you up. When you look at this, though, hang on, what? because if you look at the gap where he scored on the power play, yeah. Yeah. we were in the box from that point on pretty much the whole period. Yeah. Going from Jeremy Davies for slashing, Alexander Carrier for tripping, Josh Healy for cross-checking, Matthew Olivier for delay of game, and then newcomer Ben Harper for interference. Whew! All right. Our last uh, goal of the game and of the second was by Tommy Novak, his 11th, with an assist from Josh Healy, his third, and Yakov Trenin, his 15th. And then pretty much the third period was followed by nothing but penalty oh. after penalty after penalty after penalty. And that goes for both teams. Yes. Yeah. But uh, there was a point in the game that we'll talk about after we get our three stars that deserves a little bit of uh Well, the third star of the game was J Jacob McDonald with his uh, with one goal. Second star of the game was uh, Yakov Trudin with a goal and an assist. First star of the game was Tommy Novak with a goal and an assist. Yep, uh, well, let's read off our good old Connor's uh, stats as well. Uh, uh, Connor Ingram stopped uh, 34-36 and... Adam Warner stopped 23 of 27. Yeah. Head coach for the Colorado Eagles is Greg Cronin. Uh, assistant coach Aaron Schneekwath. And Ryan Tobler. Head coach for Milwaukee is Carl Taylor. Assistant coach, assistant coach Scott Ford. Assistant coach Greg Rommel. Uh, attendance at the Budweiser Event Center was 5,289. A two-hour and 20-minute game. That's pretty swift. Yep. <sighs> uh, referees were Jim Curtin. I guess it wasn't curtains for him. Oh. <laughs> um, and then it was a referee, Oliver Groen. Going. 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 I wish he was going right. away. Oh. <laughs> and we have uh, linesman Chris Wilson and Lucas Bisbee. That actually gives us our first actual win over Colorado as yeah. a team. Yeah. And yeah. we won in their building. Because this is the first season we've ever played there. Yep. So, yeah. They started play last season in the AHL? Yes. Yes. 
So that puts us at 1, 0, oh, and 2. 1, 0, oh, 1, and 1. 1, 0, oh, 1. Oh, that's right. We took one in a shootout. Yep. But uh, what was the aspect we wanted to talk about? Because uh, we uh, had a guy down on the ice today. Yeah, that was uh, um, Cole Schneider took a nasty hit from AJ Greer. Who else? Which, yeah, uh, check to the, was it elbow to the head? Yeah. Uh, apparently, he did play for the last five minutes of the third. I Which, didn't know that. That's a good sign to see, at least. That's he was good to hear. Ice. But I'm hoping that the AHL does something about this because Greer has been known for this, like, this thuggish goonery. And today he was picking on, um, I, I don't know if it was the greatest idea, but he kept poking and prodding at Olivier and Healy. So basically he was just trying to instigate a fight. Yeah, and then whenever they get close, he'd just run away. Oh, he's one of those guys. He's, he's one like of those Hicketts. Goons. Yeah. He's like Hicketts. I'm going to instigate, but then I'm going to go away so it makes it look like you're retaliating for no reason. Yep. He's one of those, like, slime balls. Yeah. Like, I know, like, hate, was it, dock me on that one for what it is, but there's nothing I hate more than someone that doesn't have the guts to, you know, finish something, especially. Finish when what you start. Yes. All, All right, right. Can I do the preview for the next ad going game? Uh, Here sure. it is, everybody. Watch this game. That's your preview. <laughs> Watch this video. That's your preview. Because they play the uh, Eagles tomorrow. All right. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about let's talk about the uh, the ever shrinking magic number for the Admirals. I need a I need a Harry Potter wand for this one. You're a wizard, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> we need somebody on our show named Harry. <laughs> All right. What's the magic number currently? Twelve. Uh, we are 12 now. We have From a, clinching. Yes. So we're 12 away from clinching. We have less than 15 Am games. I seeing this right? What's that? What do you, what Daniel, do you pinch me. Am I seeing this right? What? Rockford's the fourth spot? Yes. Yeah. Do you the mean wolves are... You and me could get our wish. Be yes. Be able to go to road playoff games in the first round. Yes. If they were to start today. Yes. yes. Woohoo. I like that. All right, let's go. Which we're Keep looking it. forward to if that happens. <laughs> right. Which but, may mean them having to beat us at some point, which I won't mind. Mm. If that means us hey, getting you know, road beef you know, or road. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, their fans are going to be booing us because we show up and every time we do, the animals I mean, kick their butt. They can't <laughs> hate us as much as Chicago, though. Although, yeah, that, but I don't although Chicago go, went from... Third at the All Star break mm -hmm. to yeah. sixth now, the, and and here's the bad part: Texas is catching them. Yes, San Antonio is San, jumping up too. Yeah, San, San Antonio is riding for fourth right now. Uh, that's they have a big game uh, tomorrow: San Antonio versus Rockford. Well, that could be so you think San Antonio wants to say f you to their owners for selling them? <laughs> by making the playoffs like you sold I mean, us when we made the playoffs you think that's why San Antonio's fired up <sighs> it it's, it's almost like the uh, what's that the major league effect yeah yeah just like you're about or you're being threatened of being sold up and in their case they have been sold up and that that did go through if anybody didn't know the yeah. AHL board. I had a feeling it would go through. Yeah, but you know there were people that, that was voted. announced last night. Yeah, uh, the AHL board of governors did uh, approve of the relocation of San Antonio Rampage to become the Vegas Silver Knights. So, I guess. But all right. Well, uh, you want to move on? Yeah. So uh, we're at magic number twelve. Uh, stop worrying, ads fans. Stop worrying. Yeah, just don't. Um, here's seriously. the thing. You have a win percentage of 71.9, almost 72%. Yeah. What are you worried about? The closest one has a 66 point, or 66.7. Yeah. Like, and the goal differential between the two is abysmal. Hey, I'm not worried. Are I'm you guys either. worried? No. Like, it's to the point now where Iowa doesn't even scare me. No. <laughs> because, honestly, like, I think the fear that most fans have right now is losing the league number one overall, which means nothing. Yeah, I want a cup. It's just a nice stat to have that the friend. It's nice for us to have. It basically is like, 
it would be nice for us because we're 50 years in, was it 50 it's years nice in, uh, in operation? Oh, by the way, if you're looking for a good hockey read, check out Hockey News' most recent release on the AHL. And I think we have that uh, in one of our posts on, on the page. Did you do a write-up? I did not. I did not. Well, we'll have to do a write-up then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, that's all for this one, eh? Why yeah. are you going to keep talking um, about um, Our league, our league t- is down to 31. Yeah. 31 points. That's all we need. 31 and uh, same with the division. Oh, what was that stat you were telling us earlier? The Admirals need X amount of victories. To okay, so the up. Admirals have 18 games left. Yep. And they are at 38 wins. So they need 12 wins to hit 50 wins for the first time in AHL franchise history. Which would be nice to reach that at least because that would be a perfect way of coming It'd be our 50-50-50 season. 50-50-50s. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I figured I'd have you get that stat on camera. Yep, just so you know, we it's in grabs. And here's the thing. Looking at this team, there's... There's something different. There's something about this team when they get mad, and you make them angry. All right. So also, also uh, it's just about ready to wrap. Yeah, yeah. It's also just like the way that Coach Carl rallies these guys coming into March. There's something about it that just says we're ready to play near NH. Like, if I'm not saying that AHL hockey isn't near NHL, but this is playoff caliber near NHL playoff hockey that we see in some of these games. And All right, so I do have our current league re- lead. And we lead at 84. Belleville's got one point away from coming into the 80-point 80, 80 club. Iowa's two points away. But from they do. It. we do have a game in hand against Belleville. So yeah. Yeah. that does change everything. Right. But again, I'm just looking at the points. We also, uh, don't we own a tiebreaker with them? Because then we We beat swept them. them. Yeah, we swept them completely. Yeah, so we also own a tiebreaker if that's what it comes down to. Yep. In case fans were wondering, yep. we do own the tiebreaker. Yep, yep. We have way more penalty minutes, though. <laughs> well, yeah. Also, Belleville may run into an issue because I've heard that uh, the Senators are having injury issues. But, Uh-oh. But, well, but, that's you know, other issue. Apart from them being at the bottom of the league? Yeah. Oh. But that was our video. By the way, check out this video for our preview. Yep. <laughs> you like how short my preview was, guys? <laughs> I like these previews. Can we have those every game? I wish. <laughs> I'm just going to put it at the back of it. Watch no, our video. No, That's our no video. Eagles preview. See last video. <laughs> see current, see current video. Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit for our Florida Everglades Subscribe video. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Get us up to 40. 40 is the new goal. Later, guys. Oh. Oh. Florida Hockey Locker. Oh. Oh, wait. There's more. There is more. Uh, Where is it? Where is it, Dan? Where is it? Where's the big surprise? Is it Hockey Locker? No, it is. It is Hockey Locker. But without Hockey Locker, our show probably wouldn't hit 1.1 thousand. Yeah. This is yeah. true. We hit 1.1 thousand on uh, Facebook. In between in between our prior video and this video. So it's a fish. It's official. It's we official. It. We've made it as podcasters. Woohoo. So yeah. now we get what's the new uh, magic reach for 5,000. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's ambitious. Hey, I had to shoot high like I say. But we're, our, we're our, just new, last our new our new goal is uh, 1.2 and our new follow goal well it's still at 1.1. Or 1.2. And Dan, remember last year when our high goal was uh, 20? <laughs> remember last year when our high goal was what what uh, 500 over the over the wind summer? Yeah, right. And then by summer we had like end of summer we had like 700. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then once the season picked up, it went 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 every week. 50, 50, everything 50. coming out 50s. Yeah, like right, we're guys, getting 50 every other day or so. All right, y'all. Thanks for the support. See you later. Yeah.